there is something called as uh, workflow properties and uh, if you want to get the most out of your jira instance especially the workflows you need to learn how to use workflow pr properties so in this example i want to show you one such property and uh, i of course want to explain you the purpose of that particular property so let us say you have a workflow and you are looking at this workflow where the issue is at uh, in review state now from this particular state the issue can go to um, either uh, release or approve or maybe reject or maybe uh, uh, escalate or cancel so basically th for the end user there are uh, different options for example end user can click on the approve or reject or uh, when you have more than two workflows or more than three workflows then the remaining workflow transitions are displayed in a in a in a drop down here now end user can also or the person who is trying to work on this issue can also escalate the issue and cancel it now these are of course different transitions from this status now let us say you want to reorder the transitions that are displayed here for example let us say you want uh, to display escalate first then cancel then approve then reject so the order of these uh, transitions or these uh, different options for making a transition transition that appears on the issue view screen can be changed so let's change that and for changing this we will be using uh, the workflow property and uh, since we are talking about transition we will be using that particular uh, property on a transition so when you're working with transition when you're working with properties you can either add a property to a transition or to a step but for this example we will be using of course transition so i'll go to the workflow and uh, then we'll work on it so the workflow that, that i'm using is the approval workflow so i'll click on the edit and uh, you can add property in diagram mode so let us say if you want your escalate let me just open the issue in a separate window so we can uh, remember the order that we want so let us say you want your escalate to be number one followed by cancel so it will be one two three and four so escalate will be one so you can click on the escalate transition here and on this particular pop-up window that appears on the right hand side you can click on uh, properties so this is one way of doing it or you can go to the diagram or uh, to the text mode this is the diagram mode so let us first do it from the diagram mode i'll open the property and uh, there is a property called ops bar hyphen sequence now you can add this uh, property uh, basically it's a key value pair and you can either have one two three four for all those transitions but it is always good to have some um some i mean you should always leave some gap in between because let us say you have a new transition in future so you may want to add 11 12 13 i mean of course don't add too many transitions but instead of just using 1 2 3 4 you should use 10 20 30 40 that is just a small recommendation it will make your life easier otherwise you will have to modify all those uh, transitions properties so this is done now i'll click on the approval workflow again the next one is uh, cancel so i'll go to cancel and you can do it from the text mode when you click on the text mode you can then click on the view properties uh, button on top and uh, add something like 20 here and uh, once you do this you can go back to the workflow then approve and reject so approve was uh, third so i'll add 30 view properties and uh, this is 30 and add go to the workflow again and finally we have uh, reject that will be that will be 40 i believe
So this looks now good to me and uh, I'll go to the workflow again and I'll publish the workflow. So we have added the sequence, nothing but numbers. If you go to the work to the issue now, so right now we have approve, reject, cancel and escalate. We want escalate, cancel, approve and reject. So let us refresh. So after the refresh of the page, the view issue screen, we now have the new order, which is uh, escalate, cancel, approve and reject. So this is of course a very simple thing, but it can be really useful, especially when you're trying to make the end users experience good. You want them to focus on the relevant uh, transitions. And maybe if you have to reorder, people will ask you, I mean, if you are a Jira administrator, you will definitely receive uh, these customization requests to modify the order. And now you know how to do it. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.